November 28th, I flew JFK to Aruba with JetBlue's Mint Seats. For those of you who don't know what Mint is, it's JetBlue's only first class way to fly, and they contain six foot, eight inch lie flat seats, and they're super comfortable and the best way to fly. I was curious to see how they would be during the COVID-19 pandemic and how much has changed. I've spoken to some people who've recently flown Delta Business Class and they told me you just get handed a snack pack, there's no food and beverage service, so I was really hoping Mint would not be the same way as a lot of the experience and what you get for your money, the food, and beverage, and all the other amenities that come with it. For those of you who have never seen Mint seats before on a JetBlue plane, that's because they only have select routes. They go out of Boston, New York, and they recently started going out of Newark Airport. They have select routes through St. Martin, Barbados, Granada, St. Lucia and Aruba and have always done east to west coast flights like Seattle to Boston, LA to West Palm Beach, JFK to San Diego, San Francisco. So they're really not on every flight. The perks is that they do have a dedicated mint check-in line. So you get to check in faster. You also get to go through the expedited security line. So you get on the plane faster and your bags are the first to come off the belt. So all in all, it makes the process much quicker for you to get through the airport. To see that honestly, not much has changed. The stewardess came and checked on us all throughout the flight. Of course, we still had to wear masks the entire time unless we were eating and drinking. We were served any alcoholic beverage we wanted. Of course, they also have non-alcoholic beverage. I went with their mint condition beverage. This has been a classic that they've had ever since they've started with JetBlue Mint, and it's gin, ginger, lime, cucumber, and mint, super refreshing. They also have some coffee, tea, and espresso beverages on board. You get to choose three of the small plates to complete a meal. I chose the six minute egg, which came with roasted mushrooms, crispy rice, and cilantro the um, blueberry quinoa pancakes, some blueberries on the side, and also on the bottom it said we could choose maple glazed bacon upon request. So I chose that just to see how it was, and it was honestly all phenomenal. The food is five star, it tastes like it came out of a five star restaurant, it is amazing. They provide you with headphones, blankets, pillows, all super comfortable and high quality. Change your seat into a full-blown bed. You can sit upright. You can kind of like lounge and relax a bit, little bit. They even have a massage option on the chair. There's a reading light, a floor light, um, a water bottle provided for you, which obviously they refill at any time. And one of my favorite parts is they always give you a goodie bag and it's things you can use while in the air. I brought it home with me to show you guys. So this time, one of the things they gave us was a serum with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Um, they always provide socks because there is a little shoe station. You can take off your shoes while on the plane and put them in this special compartment in your seat. So I think a lot of people then throw on these socks. They're actually really comfortable. Um, they gave this super powder that you put in water. I haven't tried it yet, but looking forward to that. By the way, all of these things you can actually buy. So it's kind of a partnership where the company is give it to you so that if you like it, then you can go and buy it later. They also gave this hydrating coconut wipe, this oxygen mist spray that's really good when your skin is dehydrated, and an SPF. Um, a lot of times when there's flights to the Caribbean, they will give something like this, like a SPF or something sun-related or island-related, which is kind of nice. So needless to say, as of November 2020, Mint is still a very nice way to fly. I wouldn't say much has changed besides needing to wear your mask in the air and I would definitely recommend everyone to do it. Here we are landing in Aruba, and that is all. Hope you enjoyed this video.